Time for Social Women with your hosts, Pat Cruz, Amy Diaz, and Bronwyn Dannenfelser. Welcome back to the second hour of Social Women. I'm your co-host, Amy Diaz, and our toll-free number is 855-252-2020. You can reach us on WeSpeakWomen.com and find us on Ustream, GoLocalProv.com, and, of course, our Facebook and Twitter pages. So right now, I'd like to welcome Ed Brady, founder of 401.com, who has the inside scoop for us on what's going on in and around the city. Hi, Ed. Hello. Thank Welcome. you for having me. How are you? I'm doing great. I really appreciate it. So just for, for those listeners who don't know who you are, um, tell us a little bit about you and 401.com. Sure. Uh, my name is Edward Brady. Uh, I went to Bryant University locally. I grew up in Rhode Island. Uh, I grew up in Cranston. I moved out to L.A. when I graduated. I wanted to be into film and television, much like this awesome studio that I see here today. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I moved back after a year. I missed my parents. I missed Rhode Island. And uh, I learned a lot about nightlife out there. So when I came back, I knew I wanted to make an impact on Rhode Island. I wanted to do something big. I wanted to change Rhode Island nightlife. So I started my company called 401, much like our area code. Um, for ZERO1.com and you know four years later we're fortunate enough we've thrown some very big parties with notable celebrities throughout the state of Rhode Island right now we host about five nights a week at some very uh, hip and hot hot spots and uh, hopefully we can tell uh, about some of our parties today the, the great women that listen to your show absolutely speaking of, of great women who I'm sure want to get into the nightlife here in Providence and in Rhode Island um, we were talking a little bit over the break about you know what is hot for women nowadays and uh, I guess we should just get started and you can start your list of, of places where we should be going sure absolutely <laughs> uh, I can start right, right off uh, by tonight uh, we do a like kind of like an industry night it's uh, Tuesday nights we do it at Amici it's $25 you can get uh, all you can eat pizza pasta and sushi so you can get your first first round can be sushi next next round could be pizza pasta and then right after that we do half off drinks all night at smoke um, so obviously the guys the lure is they can go and have a cigar but the woman can drink half price all night so is Amici on, is that on Federal Hill it is yes. it's, it is it. all right sushi and pasta I love Amici nice next yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know I don't know if you can eat anymore after having all you can eat sushi but yeah. you can try or the pasta or the or pasta. Pasta. yeah, yeah. Really. Okay. <laughs> it's bad the pizza Fabulous. I, I got to tell you, the food, um, I, I would never think that combination that we're speaking of would ever work. It's like kind of like, oh, we're just going to throw everything together. But the food is absolutely amazing, and uh, the service is great, uh, and we only will put our name behind a product like that. Um, segwaying to another one of our parties, uh, Friday nights at View, we uh, do ladies' night. So ladies are uh, free all night. Uh, it's, it's been a very popular party. Uh, and um, we've been doing about 350 people each week. And I understand that there's a pink card for ladies, right, where you get $5 drinks? There, there is. There's a pink card. You get your complimentary first yeah. shot. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. We, we give those out every week. Uh, by coming to view, you can just get one and uh, learn more about that. Oh. <laughs> we can start and the party now. today. Yeah. We better groove on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, and so what, what, what are we looking at age-wise So for the view? You know, so that was going to be my, my question, too. Yeah. Sure. So it's a 21-plus establishment. I know a lot of places are going to 18-plus throughout the, throughout the uh, state uh, and, and mostly in Providence. But uh, view will continue to be 21-plus. It's an upscale demographic. Uh, 21, probably anywhere to 35, 38. Um, mm. Mixed mix crowd. Um, very, very good crowd. Amy... Uh, frequently goes not to, <laughs> not to throw that out there you know <laughs> thanks ed yep, no problem no problem now you know where to find me <laughs> <laughs> and so. where else do we have to go so Okay. Uh, for that demographic, uh, there w a couple of new places just opened. Uh, I'm not working there, but I, I actually go on my off nights, Bar Louie, um, which is great, a bo big Boston company that came in, and uh, they're doing it in Providence. The Dorrance, which is uh, the old Federal Reserve. Ladies, we were talking oh. about this. Have you been? No, that's what you're talking about. So I want to go. It is there. absolutely beautiful. Um, Gosh, you know, I went in for lunch last week, and it's the old Federal Reserve. Right. So it's this old, beautiful bank, but they redid, like, all the ceilings and the walls, and it's, um, talk about festive. What a great place to go for a cocktail, mm -hmm. and they've got, they do that mixology thing that Willow was just here doing. Yep, uh, they've absolutely. got that same sort of feel to it in food, but they got the second floor. 
it's got couches in it and I think for me I I, I love water place and I, I've seen the view I guess I'm get, I'm getting old guys <laughs> like I like to go sit down <laughs> and no, have like the subdued Bronwyn, music Bronwyn, in the not back. at all not at all because as much as I enjoy going to view every once in a while that's that's my that's my thing I love just lounging I love sitting on a couch you have a wonderful view a nice cocktail and just relaxing it's yeah. just you know after such a long hard week it's like what's why would you want to go out and Let's go to the Dorrance for a cocktail. It, okay, so what what is um, what age is Dorrance? I would say it's uh, definitely a twenty five plus upscale uh, clientele. They, they, like like she was saying, the the drink selection is is exquisite. Um, the owner, uh, the family is the Lester family, who has frequently um, been in night, uh, nightlife. They they brand mixology. They've they've been part of our nightclub and beverage expo that we co produced. Oh, that's great. Uh, a great family, and, and I can't say uh, more than wonderful things about the place. You could do a wedding there. You could do a private function. You can go dine for lunch or dinner. Uh, it's definitely a place. I, uh, they actually just donated to our. We're donating 80 gifts to our charity. Uh, one of our charity works with the St. Mary's Home in North Providence. So 80 kids are going to be getting gifts. The Lester family were kind enough to donate gifts for uh, for that. So uh, definitely Tell had to plug us, them. Uh, now that just kind of segues right into the charity. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Um, we we founded a couple of years ago a organization called Cooking for Change which cooks for the homeless um, quarterly. Uh, we just did a Thanksgiving uh, dinner, which we f- uh, you were at. And, yes, um, you both Pat, were. And I, Pat and yep. I served. That was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Well, I appreciate it, and it, it's, it's very rewarding for us. Um, just uh, we, we cooked for about 350 people, and local chefs and people like yourself, great people, volunteer their time. And it just uh, feels great to have uh, you know them leave happy, at least for one day, and have a little bit of hope. Uh, Praise Tabernacle Church buses them in uh, so they, they experience a great day with that and uh, w- we've been recently doing a lot with the St. Mary's house uh, in North Providence there's about 40 kids that live there uh, mostly orphans and uh, pe- kids from battered homes and you know it's, it's very rewarding to work with organizations like that. I'm not very familiar with them that, that sounds really amazing. Are you doing anything for Christmas? Yeah we, uh, we got local people we, we kind of just used this the wonderful Facebook <laughs> and put it out there that we were looking for gifts and you know uh, each kid has had a wish list and we have about 80 gifts that we're dropping off so each kid's gonna get about two gifts uh, tomorrow you know? are you doing any cooking though cooking for change is that what it's called we are we are we, we it, unfortunately because of scheduling and um, with the kids it's, it's tough to get in there we're not doing it until after Christmas but we are doing a, bre- a brunch for them nice that yeah. is really cool I must say that I really respect and admire the fact that you know you think at Brady 401 the nightlife and everything else but the fact that you turn around and you give back to your community that's wonderful it's because it's not okay. just about the partying it's not about the the going out the drinking the the dancing the the dinners for the upscale and, and uh, you know the people that can go out and enjoy nightlife but it, you take a step back and you say you know I'm able to provide so much fun to people that can just go out and have fun but I'm also going to take an extra step and provide fun to those that don't have the privilege to just go out and and bring you bring smiles to the spaces and I must say that like okay. Pat mentioned before the Thanksgiving dinner when I was I, I, I stood there for the three hours that we were serving and I served the entire time and the time flew by but it was just so rewarding to see the smile on these people's faces because they were getting a meal and and it was from little babies all the way up to people that that were in wheelchairs and, and we were all helping them get their meal to sit down and enjoy a Thanksgiving dinner so very admirable, Ed. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate it. Make sure you appreciate, you know, what we all have. So. Yes. I'll tell you, I have the utmost respect and admiration for him because you do see everything. I, I mean, I'm on, I'm online. I'm on. I'm very social. Social women. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very social. So I see what's going on, and I see what he does on a regular basis for different things. So it's not just about that. Tell us about what's going on for Steve Marr. Sure. Um, Steve Morrow um, was my mentor. Um, he, he was the owner of Water Place and uh, View and many other restaurants. Uh, he, he recently passed away. And the Rhode Island Hospitality Association, Association started a memorial in his name. And every year they're going to be giving away a scholarship uh, to a Johnson & Wales student, um, which is great kind of to see. You know, Steve was all about helping people and giving people opportunity. And uh, he obviously gave me an opportunity in nightlife, and I wouldn't be where I was today if it wasn't for him. So it's good to see his name carried out for such a great cause. January 14th, the Dunkin' Donuts Center um, for the Jeff Dunham concert. They're they're renting out the entire top restaurant. Tickets are uh, $99. 
and 100% of the proceeds uh, from that will uh, benefit the, the scholarship in Steve's name. You know, I think I've said this on the show before. I would not have been able to get where, or, or how do I put this? Uh, Steve helped me with Water Fire. He helped us get places that we never could have gotten between 2007 and 2009. He was he was my my bat phone man on, on my iPhone. <laughs> it's so so it, it does. It makes so much sense to do something, and then Johnson and Wales tie it right back in. Yeah, it's cool. so yeah, interesting. Absolutely. It's such a you know Rhode Island is it's such a small world, and and we're all here and. I didn't know that you were so close to Steve, and Steve was one of my best friends, and of course, Ed, he was your mentor, and then Pat, you know everyone, and, and <laughs> see, it's just interesting to see how we've all come together, mm -hmm. and there's this one person that has had such a huge impact in our life, and I didn't even know that we were all touched by him the way that we have. So the fact that you're doing this, and that he's being, his name is being recognized, and his memory is being recognized the way that it is, it's, it's, Special. It's very touching. It's, it's very, very special. special. Can I pull up a feel good thing? Yes. Sure. All right. Th my feel good thing is so I went to see Trinity Reps. It's a Wonderful Life, the radio show. And of course, now because we do a radio show, I was like, <laughs> I got to go check it out. <laughs> it was awesome. And it's along those same lines. I don't think a lot of the times that we know the people that we're affecting and how we're affecting them. And, you know, we go through like our days here and you know I think we can all say that there's days or, or I know this morning I was a real piece of work I was upset I was not organized <laughs> and I, I was running around and you know I just sometimes you want to throw like the towel in or, or just like get I just got so upset about everything it was ridiculous I look back and I was an idiot this morning <laughs> but you know he, you never know who you're hitting or who you're touching and it is true that you know you're doing all these wonderful things so I'm glad you came back from LA and, and came back to Rhode Island four years ago because not only you're doing so much now in the club world and the restaurant world and the industry you're giving it back at the same time oh thank you which, yeah but so it's a wonderful life made me realize you know what would happen if George Bailey was never born mm -hmm. I, I think we need to remember that and I, I want to remind like my friends of that like, yeah. if you weren't in my life but things would be a little bit different right now yeah. so you know For what everyone. it's interesting yeah. christmas is well christmas is being celebrated this weekend um pat the other day you posted a picture which has been circulating through facebook and social media you know maybe christmas is a little bit more and it is and to me you know we were talking about going and shopping and presents and i thought to myself like i'm not buying anything for anyone i don't want anything for anyone all i want more than anything is to just spend time <laughs> <laughs> with my loved ones and like that's what Christmas and that's what the holidays are about at the end of the day that's what it's about and that's why I'm so touched by what you do and by what people who have when they give back at the end of the day that's what living is about when you stop thinking about yourself when you think about the way you affect others how your actions and your words affect others like that's what life is about and um Anyway, we're gonna <laughs> we need to come back yeah. with Ed. I gotta give Amy break. a hug. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back for the break. We were talking about uh, family, spots, the holidays, yeah. and hot spots. So that was before. So where are we gonna go hang out with Amy? Where? We yes, because since I am staying in Rhode Island and I'm not really doing much for the holidays, as I I just explained. Um, where am I gonna go? Um, Someone well, needs to keep me entertained. <laughs> I can tell you, um, we're throwing a party at, at View Lounge. Um, it's our, it's yesterday, today, tomorrow. Um, kind of like a tribute to Steve and uh, just kind of looking, you know, where we were, where we are, and uh, where we're going. And obviously, it's it's been a very tough couple of months, and it's been a tough year for for everyone. You know, it's a very tough economy. You know what? I have to say, 2011, I keep saying 2001. I, 2011 has probably been one of the worst years of my life, and I cannot wait to see it go. 2012 is going to rock. It, it is. is. So <laughs> going to rock. Yeah. So going to rock. I, I agree. And so but some great things came out of two our yes, 2011. Yes, social women. Woohoo! That has to So, um... <laughs> So Soldier woman, woo! Everything else, no. No, exactly. <laughs> that is exactly how I feel. So yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we're just, uh, you know, you, you have to look back even it being a bad year and, and you learn from it and we're kind of in celebration of that. Follow your dreams, you know, go after what you want. 2012 is a new year. 
And, uh, you know, we, there's also a great party that I know, Media Pale, which is blown up in 2011. And it's amazing to see what's developing. And it's definitely probably the biggest growing company in the state of Rhode Island. And I was not paid to plug that. <laughs> um, but they're also throwing Thank you a... Thank for uh, saying you weren't paid. Thank you. Yep, no problem. They're <laughs> also throwing a, uh, a big party at the uh, Rhode Island Convention Center. I know you guys partnered up. It's the yes. second uh, annual year that they're doing it there. A lot of celebrities. Um, maybe you guys could talk a little bit more about that. Patrick yeah. Pass, Dion Branch. Um, so that's at the convention center. I know you guys have, you know, sold a ton of presale tickets. So, mm -hmm. I mean, those are two definitely of the hotter parties that are going to be going on. For New Year's Eve. For New Year's Eve. Yes. Yep. yep. So uh, that's the masquerade ball, New Year's Eve, uh, the convention center. And, um, yeah, we're selling tickets. And I'll be talking about that in just a few minutes of, uh, when we come back later with social events. But um, how can we get tickets to yours? Is that just sure. a first uh, come, first serve? You basis. can call 272 VIEW, and uh, t tickets are $20 presale, $30 if you want to come to our complimentary 9 to 10 uh, champagne and wine hour. Or if you want dinner, uh, t dinner for two is $99. You get two entrees, a shared app, uh, dessert, and you're welcome to that complimentary hour and presale tickets. Or you can visit uh, www.4zero1.com. Great. So... I think I think we're I've just got about a quick question. Yeah, yeah. Just very um. So if I want to find out, like, do you post deals for like you know what's going on for women? Like I know you told us that there was some some really great like kind of appetizers and drink deals. Do you have those posted on a website or yes, on your? Uh, I have your cheap eats here. Tell me about that. <laughs> um, I would you know I was just uh, thinking of a couple places that that I like to go um that that are cheap deals. Uh, obviously McCormick and Schmicks mm -hmm. is yeah. uh. You know, they have a $3 burger and $2, drink, you know, they from 3 do? to 5. What? Yeah, it's, a burger? It's Never absolutely amazing. That. They do it from 3 to 5, downtown Providence. Um, so these are things, uh, obviously, with the Can economy. Can we go into our show from there one week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That'd be great. That would be really cool. They could be our first restaurant of the week. I, I think uh, you're on to something there. So. Ed, are you going to facilitate are that? Absolutely, yeah. not a problem. Right on. So, so quickly, um, give us some five top hot spots that we want to head to. In the next, next two weeks. Yes. Sure. If you are 18 years old, you want to go to Roxy, no, wait, no, Roxy <laughs> Nightclub. Uh, <laughs> if you're an 18-year-old woman, then you want to go to Roxy Nightclub. But uh, spots I would check out are just the spots kind of we already plugged. The Dorrance, Bar Louie. Uh, if you're kind of into like a rock music type thing, uh, Whiskey Republic just opened the old Fishco. Uh, View Lounge definitely on ladies' night, Friday nights uh, or Saturday nights. And uh, that's about it. And we can go that's see great. Will at the E&O, too. And we that's can, right. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. at Brady, right. 401.com. Thank, Thank you so you much so for much. having me. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate we love it. having you. And, you know, let us know, too. Cookingforachange.org. Correct, yeah. Cookingforachange.org. Write it down because there's a lot of good stuff happening with that, and you should get involved. Thank you so much. You're listening to Social Women. I'm your co-host, Amy Diaz.